what the fuck. So guys, we are finally getting this thing roadworthy. So in order to do that, we need to get rid of these 35 inch muddies because they are not road legal. We've got some 33s that we're gonna be borrowing off Peter. So we're heading there with the GQ patrol. We're just gonna get rid of some of the tires in the back of the car because we've sort of used this as a rubbish bin for all our parts that are just laying around in the garage. I see you've joined in on the uh, the rubbish collection in the back there. I've joined in a little bit. I saw the popped, the popped tire in there. Yeah, there's some of my stuff in there too. Can't lie, but mostly your stuff. I got four wheels, not that bad. You got about 30 in there. Whoa, whoa, chill bro, come on man. So something pretty cool about all these tough rigs is that they have so much space for a lot of crap. So if you take the headrests off these back seats, you can actually fully fold them down um, to the front. So you've got heaps of room. Move the headrest on the ground. Oh, you got to fold the seat. Yeah, let's do that first. Yeah, tough. <laughs> Damn, look at that. <laughs> it's waving at you, bro. Yeah. Wave back. The bumpkin bus, boys. Don't even know how fast I'm going. Do you, fam? I don't. Couldn't tell you. I think we're going like about going, 200, yeah? Bro, we're going 200. We're going over the dial. Look at that. Yeah. Over 200. This thing's a rocket, bro. This thing's fast as. Hello, Peter. Hello, hello. What's going on? Tired? Yeah. <laughs> it's too early for all of us. <laughs> it's fucking only 8 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, a little bit dead, but it's alright. You had a late night? Yeah. With the mechanic boy? Yeah, pretty late, like midnight. Alright guys, we have our tyres, our 33 inch tyres and wheels, thanks to Peter. Have sus. And because they've been sitting in the backyard, they're infested with spiders. Spiders everywhere. Lachlan's favourite. Bro, look at this. This is just like a ball of hell. Look at it. <laughs> just pick it up. Yeah, pick it up. Open it up. Open up. Oh, oh, that's oh shit. Oh, that's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> There's legit spider eggs coming out of it. <laughs> yeah, bring him in. Oh, GG. Holy fuck. Just clean this fucking thing. <laughs> These are ridiculous. <laughs> Dude, the people on the in the comments are gonna think we're such bitches. I don't think they actually realize how heavy these are. <laughs> Tough rig, bro. How much does it cost? Tough rig, bro. How much did yours cost? <laughs> Three grand. Three grand. Fuck, tough bro. Alright guys, we're at Bob Jane on the Pian Highway and we're getting some tires fitted. I'd usually come here because they do a pretty good job. I'm keen to get the tires on. It's gonna be weird chucking, I don't know, 33s on this thing because it looks so tough right now with the 35s. Tough. Very tough. Tough rigs. Thank you, spec.com guys. Oh bro, look at this! We got a lock on over here. Look, bro. All right guys, the first problem that we're facing before getting this thing roadworthy is obviously the tires and wheels. But the next thing is the fact that this thing doesn't have a functioning handbrake at all. So every time we've parked the car on a hill, we've had to park it in gear. And we believe that the cable is still down there. You, you saw that, didn't you? Yeah, so the cable's still under there, but I have a feeling that it's not actually hooked up to the... Yeah, the actual uh, handbrake. Uh, uh, the, the drift... The drift lever. The drift lever. Mm. Like, Oh, maybe under here. Pop it over. Oh, there you go. Ah, <laughs> sneaky buggers. So we're going to try to see if we can get the handbrake working today. And hopefully the handbrake and the tires will be enough to pass the thing. As the car essentially has new bushings almost everywhere. I don't know if the exhaust will pass, but we'll see how we go. Ooh. Oh, it is connected. It's definitely connected. Yeah. So it's on the underside of the car. That's not good. Or maybe maybe it needs adjusting. Let's see if you hop in the car. Yeah, pull it. 
It's like a, it's a front handbrake, bro. Yeah, yeah, I see it. So it goes, it's like a drum. I think it needs to be adjusted. Yeah, so we need to expand the, uh, the shoes, I think. We looked on the Patrol 4x4 forum. Apparently to adjust this handbrake, you jack the rear wheels up, you slacken this little nut off down here, uh, and then you tighten the, the drum that Rex found under there till the tail shaft doesn't move anymore, and then loosen it off a bit. All right, because Lachlan and I have split this car, Lachlan is doing half the work to this thing now, so he's gonna be adjusting the handbrake, and while he's doing that, I'm preparing the AU Falcon for our drift day at the end of October. So I'm just changing out the uh, diff that we got in the last video. So we have 3.45, we're chucking in to the AU Falcon, which currently has a 3.23 ratio diff. So yeah, I'll be doing that while Lachlan's messing around on the tough rig. All right, guys, we finally have the differential out of the AU Falcon. The thing is pretty freaking heavy. It was hard to get out. But what we're doing now is transferring all the parts over from this diff to the other 3.45 diff. So this thing has pretty bad uh, rotors on there. Uh, the brakes I'm not going to keep as well. The ABS sensors are also connected but chopped. Everything's just been chopped to get this thing out quick. So we're going to chuck everything on this diff, put it back in the car. And while I'm doing that, Lachlan has pretty much finished adjusting the handbrake. It's all... Uh, ready to go. So we've just uh, quickly adjusted the handbrake. It, it locks up, but it's still a bit sketch. So I'm gonna re readjust. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it actually works and we didn't have to get a new one. We got sexy Cal over here. Hello, my name is Jimmy Hendrix. You come to my shop. Here's sticker, love to <laughs> them to team idiots. We're gonna have to bleep out so much of that. <laughs> Hashtag Jimmy Hendrix. <laughs> Jimmy Hendrix, come to Bali, man. At the start of the year, in the January Winton event, I made Rexton a promise. I told him, by the end of the year, I'm gonna get a fucking drift car. And it wasn't looking good, bruv. It was not looking good. Until I got this piece of shit. Congratulations, bro. <laughs> Thank you. I wish I could have shown you guys the state it was in when he just brought it over. It had like a half cage in it and no interior. Yeah, but now you've put he's put a whole interior in the car. And here it is. E46. Yeah. Had the car for not even a week. It's almost ready for roadie. Very nice. Very tough. Bucket seat. It literally had a half cage in it and it had no interior whatsoever. Yeah. It's obviously no carpet, half cage and All right, guys, fantastic news. The 3.45 LSD that we bought is 100% an LSD. I've opened up plenty of the open differential uh, diffs that you can get for the AU Falcons, and this looks entirely different. It's definitely an LSD. So we've just spent the time to clean it and also the uh, back casing as well. I'm 90% sure this is an open diff. If that's a 3.45 as well, I'm probably gonna shoot both my kneecaps off and cry. As for the patrol, the handbrake is all installed now, thanks to Lachlan. He is now working on his MR2, trying to get this thing back to where it was before the paint job, as the uh, painter sort of cut up some of the wires. But yeah, the patrol's got the handbrake working later, he's gonna pick up the 33s. So we're gonna chuck the 33s on the, uh, the patrol. Hopefully that'll be everything that we need for Roadworthy. Thing is gonna look a little bit less tough, but it's gonna be better on the road legally, rather than having a permit driving it around everywhere. All right guys, so we managed to seal up the differential. It's all got some new RTV on here. And uh, I don't know if we showed this guy on the camera yet. New character unlocked for the Rex H garage. It's Oli Mechnik. Mechnik, bro. Mechnik, bro. And the dodgiest work. Yes, this guy has a backyard turbo ED Falcon. Oh, things a bit dodgy. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm keen to see it, bro. I haven't yeah. seen it yet. Yeah, shit already broke. Already <laughs> broken. We're also chucking some 33s on the uh, patrol now. As you can see, we've got a bunch of oil that Nathan's disposing for us as well. Um, but we also have our 33s that we're going to chuck on. Unfortunately, 33s are going to be the only tires that we can run. Bro, what'd you do? The fucking valve stem just fucking broke. Nice. What? The valve stem just broke. I fuck it. Nice. <laughs> They're not going on today. <laughs> Alright, never mind, guys. I'm sad that I was talking through that. But the fucking valve stem just went yeet. What's the other ones like? 
This one's got a freshie in it. Yeah, this is a freshly mounted one. Oh, okay. Is that a freshie as well? A few moments later. What the? F <laughs> Fuck's sake, guys. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, something shorted. Watch out. Let's go back. That man's little hack job in that corner's the issue. I think, well, it must be this thing. That's what someone said. This is the thing that gives power to the distributor, and it must not be functioning correctly or something. Or well, the wiring's just done. It seems like it's getting like fuel, right? Like it's got it's got LPG and petrol. Yeah, we can hear the LPG fire on, which means it's probably not getting spark, and that's distributor related. So this it powers the distributor, I think. All right, guys. Unfortunately, today I was woken up by Lachlan trying to start the patrol because it was going to take the 33 inch tires to get mounted again because as you saw just before the uh, valves actually just flew off and somehow the thing started smoking um, and the thing's not starting right now so we've bought ourselves an ignition coil thingo I don't know some spark plugs and a resistor I don't know I don't know if this is going to fix it but we're going to replace this Hopefully that fixes it. We're also gonna replace this weird resistor down here um, that didn't, I didn't even know that was a resistor. I thought it was just like a grounding port. Nah, that, that's got power. We, we, we tested it and it's got constant 12 volt ignition power, so. Well, that's the thing that started smoking, so. All right, we've got our upgraded ignition coil and uh, we've got a resistor, a new resistor down in there. A resistor ballast. A ballast resistor. Ah, where's the old one? The crispy one? Yeah, the crispy one. So this is, oh shit. Oh, she's pretty crispy. <laughs> yeah. Turn it around. Oh, you took the spring out? Yeah, the spring The spring got yeeted. So we'll get a new white one, get our ignition lead on. Yeah, it looks like it's on. I'm pushing in there. All right, give it a start. Yeah, it's getting power. Don't start it yet. It's definitely getting power. Please. Oh! Fuck. Failure, boys. What's next? What's, what's broken next? All right, guys, we found the issue. So this wire right here, we were very confused to what it does. And we were sort of just touching it around everywhere, starting the car. Get a close up of this baddie. Yeah, this, this one here. So if I just put this on a, uh, a constant power, ignition power, sorry, then um, it starts. So we'll show you that. I'm just gonna wrap it around here, give it a nice bend. Yeah, it's not the best connection, but the weird thing is I'm pretty sure it starts smoking, but yeah, give it a shot. All right, hop out. It's not smoking now. I don't know. Nissan's. Nissan for you. This is my first Nissan, and uh, it's not a good introduction to the Nissan life, I must say. Far out. <laughs> Smoking still? Ah. Ah, so pretty scary stuff, guys, but we managed to fix it in the end. It was just that little wire, and we don't really understand why it was smoking to begin with. Unfortunately, patrol content is gonna have to slow down ever so slightly because it's very difficult to get cars roadworthy in the state that we are living in. We'll see how we go. Hopefully, we can get the car registered and roadworthy next week so we can do some fun stuff with it. We've got other things on the way for it, other modifications, but they won't get here for a while. In the meantime, we're doing a little bit of drift preparation for the uh, end of this month. There's a couple of weeks left, but I am really excited for the patrol build. It's just gonna take some time. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And if you enjoyed, then you click that like button. And if you wanna see more videos, click subscribe. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Here you go, sir. What the fuck? You have a blow up the closet work behind you.